I'd like to call the meeting to order. Would you all please rise for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all for being here this morning. Mr. Clerk, can you please call the roll? Patrick? Here. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Here. Farnham? Here. Lorenzen? Here. Luddington? Here. And Voigt? Here. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Now we are dealing with the minutes from January 3rd, <coughs> 17 special meeting and January 11th regular meeting. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes from those meetings, please? So moved. Derek Lorenzen moves. We have a second. Second. Andy Patrick seconds. Assuming you're ready to vote, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The approval is carried. Claims against the county. Questions? So moved. Dan moves. Second. Bill seconds. <laughs> what that noted. <laughs> Assume you're ready to vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. It does carry. Thank you, gentlemen. Next, county board claims. Questions? Motion? Without Alan here, we're used to him just popping right up there, so. So moved. Derek Lorenzen moves. Do we have a second? Second. We have Chittick. Seconds, gentlemen. Assuming you're ready to vote, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Okay, that is carried. Now we're to the portion where we allow for the public exercises their right to uh, public comment. Uh, we limit that to five minutes per person. So, anybody wish to public comment? Sure. Thank you. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, ladies, everybody. Not much of a football fan, but I did watch the Super Bowl and I was impressed. Any Atlanta fans here? Well, we'll go Patriots. You know what? I think what uh, Brady said afterwards was really cool. He said it could have went either way. It's a good team. And I felt that way somebody, watching it. Somebody stole his shirt. Huh? <laughs> the jersey. It was wrong. somebody from Atlanta. <laughs> but anyway, good morning. Again, uh, my name is Robert Bogue. I'm a U.S. citizen, a veteran of the United States Army, and a Hickory County resident. This morning I'd like to talk about the airport, the airport project. Um, I understand you've passed hazardous zoning resolution. <clears throat> but I want to remind you that the airport project is $1.3 million and it's been characterized as free money. Money paid from or for passenger ticket sales and fuel sales. Um, that isn't entirely true. We didn't have an airport project if the county residents and the real estate taxes didn't provide $80,000 a year for that airport to be open. And we wouldn't have an airport if it didn't take the revenue from the airport and keep it at the airport. That's another $60,000. What has happened here is that we have a $1.3 million project that you would like to receive. And to, and to receive that project, you're going to have to spend $2.8 million. Because in getting that 1.3 from the federal government, you are agreeing to keep the airport open under its present conditions. 1.3 plus 2.8 is 4.1 million taxpayer dollars are being spent on a dead airport. This county has enough debt on the horizon. We have nearly a $400,000 debt we haven't paid off. We have a roof that's needed on this courthouse that was estimated to be 400000 We have a need for a new jail and other expenses. The airport is a liability, and I think you should turn that liability into an asset by selling it. I have a question to ponder about the airport. Do any of you know what makes the Edgar County Airport significant to national air transportation? Okay. Can you enlighten us? 
Yeah. Well, that's a, that's an important question. Yeah. That's one of the criteria for receiving for receiving any money, which is airport improvement projects money. So it's a criteria for the airport. There's another one. It has to be a congested airport. So those are the questions. The comment I have regarding the hazardous zoning you've enacted, um, just ask that you advise me if it's approved and when it's approved, and more importantly, if it has not been approved for uh, reestablishing the funding at the Avery County Airport. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Other public comments, please? Hearing none, we'll move forward to the highway resolutions. Number one is resolution for improvement, BLR 09110, appropriating motor fuel tax for the following SA, FAS 679 slash uh, CH8, Horse Brockton Road, section 16-00131-00BR. These are discussed on the study session on Monday morning. Uh, do you have any further questions of the highway engineer at this point? <coughs> if not, I'd entertain a motion to approve this resolution. So moved. Derek moves. Andy <coughs> seconds. Any further questions? Hearing none, Mr. Clerk, the roll call. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. <coughs> Luddington? Yes. It does carry. Thank you. Next is resolution authorizing the county board chairman to sign a BLR 05511 construction guidance agreement with Hillard Bookkeeping. FAS 679 Horse Brockton Road. Uh, is there a motion or any further questions on that particular item? Can you just have Aaron just explain briefly yeah. just to let people know what, what these are? What sure. We know, but. The, we're due to at a time. The first two are for the Horse Brockton Road. Uh, the box culvert that was opened in January that came in $150,000 below estimate for construction. Item one is you're, you're setting up a uh, motor fuel tax. You're asking to spend motor fuel tax for your match and for construction engineering. Then item number two is to sign a professional service agreement for the bookkeeping portion of the engineering. As we talked about before, federal projects are difficult to administrate and be ready for an audit on. And we've used Hillard bookkeeping for the last seven or eight years and every one of our audits have come out exceptional. So the first one's Forest Rock and Road, the box, Item one is setting up motor fuel tax. Item two is to sign a professional service agreement with Hillards to do the bookkeeping on it. Thank you. Motion. Second. Okay. Did you get that, Carl and Dean? Yes. Assuming you're ready to vote, are you ready, Mr. Clerk? Yep. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. And Luddington? Yes. Uh, why don't you? Number three and four are yeah. related, so why don't you do the same thing for that? Please? Exact same situation. Thank you, Jeff. Item three and four will be uh, are related to the same section. This is the Camp Road Bridge. We're at the front end on this one instead of the back end. Uh, with the Horse Brockton Road, you guys use local money to do all, all this engineering and everything up front, and now you're only waiting to the very end of the project when it's going to be built to appropriate money on the Horse Brockton Road. On this next one, Camp Bridge. Got a bridge that you're looking at 2021. Go ahead, Carl. On the Conwell Road. On the Conwell Road, I'm sorry. Yeah. I call it Camp Bridge. They're right BR sections. Yeah. It's just south of 400. It's right. the Camp Bridge that you guys uh, verbally agreed to put on the federal program for FY21. And this time you're going to appropriate a much smaller amount of motor fuel tax up front to do some of the, the preliminary engineering. And that'll be done on the second resolution with Knight and Associates subbing. Fairgram, and I think Geocon for the borings. So okay. the next two are Camp Bridge resolutions. Okay, number three is resolution for the improvement, BLR 09110, appropriating motor fuel tax money for the following FAS 680 slash CH 16 kind of log road, section 17 001340 BR. 
Is there a motion to I'll approve? Motion to approve Carl moves. Uh, John seconds. Mr. Clerk, I assume we're ready to vote. Yes, sir. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Jiddick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. It does carry. Next item, which has been outlined by our engineer, a resolution authorizing County Board Chairman to sign the preliminary engineering uh, agreement with Knight and Associates Surveying LLC for same said project as described in three. Is there a motion to so move. Dan moves? Carl seconds. Any further questions? Assuming not, Mr. Clerk. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Okay, the next item is authorizing the resolution authorizing County Board Chairman to sign a preliminary engineering services agreement with Knight and Associates Surveying LLC uh, for FAS 683 Shiloh Road, CH 11, Section 12 001102DR. Uh, Very small drainage and safety improvement on the Shiloh Road uh, up by. Barrett's old house. Uh, this is a locally funded endeavor, uh, less than five thousand dollars. You're authorizing the county board chairman to enter into an agreement with Knight Associates to do a minimal amount of uh, basically layout. It's primarily topographic survey and layout for that re or realignment up there where that job is. And we're also looking at the top of the board about possibly replacing a couple culverts south of there. And we're also wanting to acquire the right-of-way between Barrett's and where the new section ended. Thank you. Uh, motion to approve resolution, please. Seven. Derek moves. Second. Andy seconds. Any further questions? Mr. Clerk. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzo? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Thank you, gentlemen. That is carried. All five resolutions were passed unanimously. Number nine, do you want to speak to that, County Clerk? I'd Sir? be glad to. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that I am opposed to having polling places in our public schools. So I'd like to go on the record for that. And with that, uh, we received a letter from the Shiloh superintendent and the board president of Shiloh School asking that that polling place be moved out of Shiloh School uh, due to the fact that it was disruptive to the learning, to student learning. And uh, based upon the statutes, uh, the board does have the uh, the leeway or the authority to to move that out. <coughs> and uh, so I'm, in talking with the state's attorney uh, we reviewed the statutes we uh, looked at it they presented they being Shiloh school presented an alternative and that being the Hume Community Center so I went up to the Hume Community Center and I looked it over and it is accessible to uh, people with disabilities and the elderly can get in without any problem there's plenty of room up there it's a nice building and uh, I think it'd be a great place to have a polling place for those uh, three precincts Shiloh Young America <coughs> one and Young America two any questions further on the clerk yes, just uh, for anyone who has in the future that has a desire to pursue that same kind of thing that the shallow school, school district did the wording and correct me if I'm wrong Ogie, the wording of the statute says the polling place shall be in a school or public yes. building right yes. right so that's kind of the linchpin we have to have an appropriate public building to take the place of a school if anyone wants to pursue a change from their current polling place at a school to somewhere else <coughs> Yes, you're exactly right, Derek, and I am open to hearing from any of the other schools um, as long as they can come up with a uh, suggestion, uh, a doable solution, 
to move the polling place out of the school into a public building. Thank How you. many polling places are there in schools in every county? In the schools? Mm -hmm. Well, we have Shiloh, uh, Kansas, Chrisman, uh, Crestwood, Memorial. Crestwood's not in the school, right? It's in the well, it's down the bus garage. Bus yeah, Memorial and Wentz. Yeah. Okay. Do I hear a motion to authorize the county clerk to relocate Shiloh School polling place to the Human Community Center? So moved. Derek moves. Second. And Carl seconds. <coughs> Assuming you're ready to vote, <coughs> all those in favor signify. Resolution. You would like a resolution? Yeah, we have one here. Okay, it doesn't say that. Very good. Uh, Mr. Clerk? Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. Ms. Carey, thank you, gentlemen. Thank Next, you. resolution appro uh, approving bond for Douglas Crable, Commissioner Hughes Drainage District, by mutual agreement of the towns of Shiloh, County of Edgar, and the state of Illinois. Do I hear a motion to approve the resolution? So moved. Derek moves. Second. Carl seconds. Assuming you're ready to vote, Mr. Clerk. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. Ludington? Yes. It's unanimously carried. Next, resolution approving the bond of Rodney Wood, Commissioner, Hughes Drainage District, by mutual agreement of the town of Shiloh, County of Edgar, and the state of Illinois. Motion to approve this resolution. Move. Dan? Second. Carl seconds. Ready? Uh, we're ready, Mr. Clark. Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. Lorenzen? Yes. And Ludington? Yes. That does carry. Thank you, gentlemen. Next, we have resolution for, from the Joseph E. Meyer, our county tax agent, authorizing <coughs> chairman to execute deeds for conveyance of the following par uh, parcels. Danny Priestley, 09-18-01-201-0, I'm sorry, 205-016. And that would be four, uh, 419 East Buena Vista, Paris. And then Carla Pearson, 09-18-02-280-005 at 108 North Austin in Paris. Maybe a stupid question, but is this because they haven't paid your taxes for No, we're time? actually conveying it and getting money back in because we have... Yeah, the, answer, excuse me, the answer is yes. Okay. They haven't paid your taxes. The is property went delinquent. Okay. And, now, and our agent has taken that property because nobody wants it. Yeah, but now they have found a buyer for the property. Right. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Yes. So how long do they have be before they sell the property on if they're buying on taxes? How many years? Is there years? Uh, uh, just shy of three, two and a half, three, three years. Yeah. After about two and a half years, they can. Well, that's kind of wanted because yeah. of the property out on the east. Yeah. You know, know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Are you going to move that since you wanted to know so much about it? I guess. All right. Dan moves. Shut up my mouth. Second. Terry, second. You know, no good deed goes unpunished. You're yeah. exempt anyway. <laughs> you can't anyway, Mr. Brent. Okay. Would you call the uh, roll for the resolutions or resolution, please? Patrick? Yes. Bruner? Yes. Chittick? Yes. Farnham? Yes. yes. Lorenzen? Yes. In Lunnington. Yes. It is unanimously carried. Uh, next, we go to uh, Office or Department Head Reports. And we'll go with Don, and I guess you have also your Treasurer's Report and some notes from Dina. Yeah. So, my colleague, take it away. Colleague Dina asked that I read this verbatim. Uh, Set up work has begun for the new aerial flights. Setting of targets is currently scheduled for Monday and Tuesday, the 27th and 28th of this month. Weather will de determine flight dates. So basically, setting of targets is just preliminary work they have to do to get everything ready. And then weather, sometime after the 27th or 20th of February, they will uh, do their flights. Um, today, she is doing board of review meetings or uh, hearings 
That's why she's not here. You get me all excited when you talk about setting targets from the air. Right? Yeah, I know. I, know. <laughs> I specifically she, asked her what that meant because I figured, I didn't mainly think you would ask, but I, I called in from the ground. <laughs> uh, any questions you want me to relay to Dina? Okay, now on with treasures. Yeah, the report, nothing earth shattering. Um, the income tax actually came the end of January, January 31st, that I normally don't get until after the first of the month. Uh, we've gotten sales tax already this month. Um, please note that on your, uh, and how we address shortages in levied funds is the general fund carries it for as long as it can. We are carrying uh, a shortage in the IMRF fund, which we knew was going to happen uh, because we paid off everything and saved all that money last time. Uh, we're at a shortage of 14000 and that, I think on the average, every payroll, it's around anywhere from fifteen to 16000 So I can see we're maybe in March be nice to get through March, maybe in April, where we're going to have to draw on our line of credit. The other uh, amount that is in, a, in the hole right now is the Courthouse Improvement Fund, but uh, that is going to be addressed because you have it in your budget to be putting some money in there, and I think it's last year it took place during March. And it and will again this, this year, year be on the agenda. March, so that will, that will take care of itself this time next month during the board meeting. Um, I am patiently waiting for the other two offices to <coughs> get more adjusted with this new property, talk, set, uh, property tax software. Um, I still plan on using our local newspaper. Um, and now that I think about it, maybe I might also address it with the Christman newspaper as far as eventually getting a sample copy of a tax bill in there so there because we are we're all going to have a learning curve here uh, nothing really complicated but it will be a new look I'm happy to say we'll be using the same colored envelopes so everybody will be happy to see those in the mail um, other than that I have no thing else any questions I actually have a question, just mechanics and clarification on the courthouse improvement fund. That's basically what you use for anything and everything, or that's strictly the that property project. The, that was the metal pile. servicing okay. the bonds and everything. Yeah. And so we've had a just that's when we pay in is in March. So is that from a surplus from this past year, or how do, how does that work, Jim? You passed when you passed the budget. You mm -hmm. passed a line item to transfer money from the general fund to the courthouse improvement bond fund. Okay. So that, that negative, is that based on interest or how does that, or what? No, what we that? have, uh, what is that, uh, what is that one unit that we pay small amounts to? I can't think of the name. It's tax, are there, I can't think of what it's called. We have bonds, but then we also, we also have, have a, a debt. A uh, debt certificate. That over debt here certificate. We have debt Thanks. certificates that we have to service also. Okay. And that's what that is. That's not just interest. That's principal also. And right. then the city also pays us X amount of dollars per year for the first eleven years of the bonds. Right. right. Okay. Um, we're actually the courthouse improvement fund actually owes the general fund a little over ten thousand dollars. What I had to do was with a journal entry, convert it from a, it automatically, assuming that it, there's enough money in the, in the fund, so I had to turn it into a payable and a receivable. So right now, and also take into consideration that if I emptied out that account, the bank starts charging you for a, not having the minimum balance in there, so I had to leave $2,500 in there. Just for your information, uh, it, it owes us that account owes us ten thousand dollars, and I think we're going to be doing a twenty twenty-five thousand twenty-five thousand so dollar battle. And that's one of the one of the few that we set, saying this is how much we want to pay off. Well, actually, 
Well, we've actually were going to do 32. I mean, wasn't that that was based on a lot of other issues, okay? And which had not worked out, which we've discussed before. And depending on what happens with other issues this year, we may be able to do a lot of catch up. Okay. Any anything else? Aaron? Uh, looking at the radar here, I don't know what you think, Eric, but it looks like it's gonna miss us. <laughs> and we got just watching the weather, supposed to be an event this morning and it looks like we might dodge a bullet. Okay. Well that's good to hear. Monty? Things are moving nice and quietly in probation. <laughs> and are the is the ceiling and you know up? They are up there as we speak, hooking up the vents. So that part will be uh, completed hopefully by the end of the day. Okay. Sound good. Thank you, Angie. I uh, have nothing too exciting. I'm just filling out paperwork and sending it in for the e-filing, and then they send me more, and then I send it back. And, um, we had a hard drive go out on the bookkeeper's computer Friday, and he got that back yesterday. So that's kind of, I think that's back in order. Um, our next jury trial's February 21st. That's about all we've got going right now. Are we okay on the uh, J part of the audit? She's still working on it. I mean, she was going to work on it Friday when we got back from that training, and she couldn't get her computer to come up either. Okay. So. Thank you, Angie. Okay. Any questions of Angie? Jeffrey? Just a couple of projects going on. I should have our fenced in yard done, hopefully this evening. And uh, Locksmith will be there Friday to redo lots of stuff. And that's same old, same old thing up there. Okay. Any questions of the sheriff, please? Tom, airport? Nothing to report. Okay. Jill? I um, have a couple dates here. Um, March 9th, well, actually, the week, that week is um, Severe Weather Preparedness Week. Um, we are actually going to have an open house at ESDA with Paris Fire, ambulance, um, police, and maybe the hospital um, and do something that way. Um, also, March 13th, we're having the um, Weather Spotters class. It's free, and I think it starts at 6.30, and it's at the BFW. And then we also um, set our date for our annual exercise. It's May 25th, and scenario is still kind of being developed, but it's actually going to take place at the Egan County Airport. Thank you, Jill. Any questions for Jill? Is there going to be uh, cookies, brownies at this open house that you speak of? Of course. Okay, I'll be there. They always feed you well out there. You get your blood pressure check, too. <laughs> Probably need that as well. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Ken, nice to see you here. Ken Pokey from... Glad to be here. Uh, our uh, psychiatrist, after uh, 12 years of employment, has a... Uh, Turning her resignation, her last uh, day will be toward the end of March. Uh, actually, last day serving uh, the county uh, will be uh, March 15th. Uh, uh, this is a, a, a difficult uh, situation because uh, Dr. Chopra was the only psychiatrist serving the two county area on a regular basis, so we're going to lose 30 hours a week of service. Uh, and it also impacts the hospital because she was the uh, medical director for the senior care program. So we're working with a hospital trying to figure out how we're going to have to deal with this. Uh, when the Department of Human Services cut $90,000 of our psychiatric support at the start of the F-16 fiscal year, uh, we knew it was going to be a challenge. And, and quite frankly, I can't go out and hire another full-time psychiatrist on what we're uh, receiving. So we'll try to put a, a patchwork together effort to uh, continue to have psychiatric <laughs> services available in some manner. Uh, and a psychiatry option. And, uh, we've also talked with uh, Dr. Chopra, and she's agreed to continue to see her uh, current patients in Champaign, where she's relocating. Uh, so we're arranging some transportation support. But it will be a big hit for the, the, the community, um, and it puts a lot of pressure on uh, primary care physicians and others to try to assist these individuals who need uh, psychotropic medication. 
Uh, I'll switch over to the Edgar County 708 uh, Mental Health Board, and uh, on her behalf, mention that uh, Greg Wittkenack has uh, submitted his resignation uh, from the board, so we have an opening there. Uh, also, we'll be meeting next Wednesday. The board will meet to come up with some recommendations to uh, give to the county uh, as far as uh, uh, replacements for, for Greg uh, and one other opening. Um, we, we also, uh, I assume, have a uh, county board representative assigned. Okay, great, good. Yeah. So we meet uh, next Wednesday at 7 a.m. If you can make it, we greatly appreciate it. Maybe you two could get together and make sure you get the communication. Yeah, sure, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we might, you have the email address? I, uh, yeah, I'll, I don't have, but yeah, but I'll make sure I get you okay. on the list so you get yeah. all the, okay. the agendas and so forth. Any questions of Ken? Or what, are you done, Ken? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, it's nice of you to be here. We appreciate the information. And we will respond quickly once we receive your recommendations, okay? Uh, let's see, I guess that's down to Augie now. Okay, um, we talked about the polling place. The other thing, uh, we just received a proof of the ballots for the upcoming April election and we, are, we have to proof those now, and uh, I don't know how many different ballot styles there are yet, but there are going to be several. Um, usually 90, 100 could be, just depends. So we're, we're gonna proof those, get it ready, because February the 23rd is the first day that you can come into the uh, courthouse and start voting early. Early voting, February the 23rd, in the courthouse. So, so we're busy. I noticed I was reading the articles on uh, Beacon the other day. There's quite, a, there's several local township races, contested yes. races. Yes, there are. Which normally that's kind of unusual. You're hard to get enough. But right. There's, there's several races mm -hmm. yeah. throughout the county. So hopefully that'll bring people out. Yeah. Yeah. Questions for me? Thank you, Augie. We'll go on to the uh, committee reports. Dan? Me? Yes, sir. Uh, been working on the uh, IT out of the uh, Elmo Shelter losses, updating quite a bit of the information. So. Ongoing process, but we appreciate his work. The uh, clearing of the houses and trees on the eaves and woods is a slow process, but they do have the tree basically cut up. The shed is down, but it's still laying there. The house to the east, uh, I don't know what we're going to do with that. It's got some private property. But we're working on it. No, well, I'm not working on it. Somebody is. <coughs> Maybe one of these days we'll get that all cleared off. So, all oh, you can go by and look at it every day and give us a report. It's right. a mess. That's it. Thank you, Dan. You know Andy? I'm glad to hear they're finishing up there in the probation. That's been a long, long road. But it looks good. It looks very nice. You're happy? Okay. Yeah. Um, I got a. Another thing on the coroner's office, we've got a coroner's office. I got the contract and everything today. I got a okay. couple of discrepancies fixed on that, so got a place for him. How about the, the restroom upstairs? I noticed it's locked. Is it locked? Mm -hmm. Yep. It, it was just a few minutes ago. It's Scott's totally locked. Why you come to the restaurant? Hey, listen, it wasn't earlier this morning. Okay. Well, maybe uh, actually. Yeah, well, well, the lights were off, and it says I had a sign. Yeah, 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 it yeah, could have been. Quiet time in the dark. Maybe anyway, I'll, I'll check that. Try the one downstairs. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Phil. Nope. John. No. Carl. I know Monday we talked about the setting up the meeting with the union. Did. 21st, 11 o'clock has been confirmed. Have we come? Yes. yes. Jarvis. Yes. Everything is set up and confirmed with Jarvis. Yep. Okay. That's it. Mr. Airport. 
Mr. Airport. <laughs> it's like I want a beauty pageant or something. Mr. Airport. Uh, it hurts a little bit like uh, So, still working on the paperwork piece to the state of Illinois in regards to getting our beacon paid for. Uh, we've got some friction points there we're working through. Uh, still trying to get a hold of Steve Young uh, in regards to progress of the uh, the zoning piece, we'll say, through uh, the uh, general counsel for IDOT. So, okay. no word yet. That's all. Tom, and have you gotten with with Derek, and are, how are you working through the new leases? We've talked about it, and that's, that's all we've done. Okay. Those need to, we need to address that as a multi-year lease rather quickly. Okay. All right. Uh, anything? Oh, I want to let you know, you do have a copy uh, as of fresh off the press of the budget. Uh, we've got one more payroll this month and demand checks to pay, but we're basically a little over 18% expenditure against 25% of the year. So it's hard to tell where we're at right now this early in the budget. Remember some of the... Uh, the items where we have income don't come in until later in the year, so it's weighted later. Expenses are weighted early, and income's weighted late, so it all seems to work, <coughs> work out in the end. The audit uh, is proceeding fine. We've got a few loose ends to take care of, and then we'll work on that. Uh, the state's attorney is available if we want to have a uh, closed session on uh, pending litigation if you would like to he said he is available so gentlemen your pleasure yes yes okay so we will uh, give him a text and let him know is there anything else to come before the meeting this morning one one comment i forwarded some of you about this grant for the police vehicles right she finally answered me i didn't forward it and she says thanks I'll take a look at it and get back with you. Nice. Okay. So I, I've done all I can do, hopefully. And we appreciate what you've done. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. I'd entertain a, a motion to go into executive session for the purposes of litigation. Perfect. And that would be Andy. Yeah. Second. And seconded by Derek. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. So we will be going into executive session or closed session for the purposes only of <coughs> litigation. There will be no further action taken after the meeting. Thank you all. Okay, Mr. Chairman. All right. We are coming out of executive session. Uh, hearing no further business to come before the meeting, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Like Derek, Dan. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. We are adjourned. Aye.